Thursday, May 28, 2015. We're down here for the first responders here today. We're going to do a walkthrough. They wanted to talk to the first responders. My friend right over here, actually first responder, down over here. We're, we're doing a little reflection of what's going on. We're at the fountains. September 11th memorial to the World Trade Center, both buildings. And I actually found uh, one of my friend's names. Got it right here. We're going to check it out right now. Look at this. Stephen Olson. Yeah. This is his uh, name written in here. Engraved. He's in Ladder Company number three in Manhattan, in Greenwich Village. Yeah. Never forget, man. We come here and honor you, buddy. We're over here supporting the uh, first responders here. We're always doing something for them because uh, if it ain't for them, we wouldn't have this freedom that we have today, man. You know, these guys went beyond beyond themselves, man, to help us that day. You know, at least we could do is come here and uh, show up for them and be there for them, and support them, and help them. We all need help, man. You know, everybody needs a hand. And these guys, the ultimate sacrifice. You know. We honor that, you know? Good thing to do. Come here. And uh, just reflect, you know? Never forget. Peace. Oh, with the fountains, right? I did a beautiful job. Yeah. It's hard to find words, you know? It's like, just come down here and we're here to reflect and we're also here to, to honor, you know, and, 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 and support. Our first responders, man, you know, right? Sure is. It's, uh, it's like a great sight. So yeah. The words can't even imagine how you feel once you're here. Right. And uh, the people that perished here, along with also the first responders that responded here. So it's a great sight. Mm -hmm. And like if you haven't done anything for your country, or you feel like, you know, you need to do something, it's good to come here and show that you know that you care and you support so, and you honor those people that were there for us you know these first responders they came up here and they they gave their lives you know to help citizens that were just out working that day to help them in their ultimate sacrifice you know that's right there, there were just so many people that were here on the site and, and looking for people that were possibly survivors and all over this whole site. So right. It was, it was a brave site, part of America's history, and uh, that's just how I feel about it. Whether they knew the towers were going to fall or they didn't know the towers were going to fall, they still ran up there to save people and to help and to be there, you know? Sure did. Right. Sure did. Just thousands of people all over here. The moments up when the buildings got hit, and then uh, moments after, and, and months, days, and years after. Right. I think trying, to, trying to find people from above and below. Mm -hmm. And there's still first responders that were down there, and they're, you know, they're still alive today, and a lot of them are still sick, and they have a lot of illnesses, and a lot of issues going on. The issues are still going, cancers, and right. it comes back into an individual thing where, where everybody was. Right. And yeah, it was, was what it was. The Trade Center site was pretty huge on its own, but when you look at the site from an area, it's huge. Mm -hmm. That's why this is going to go on forever. Um, well, the site is a place of remembrance uh, on a lot of things that went on, mm -hmm. as far as that's concerned. Exactly, it will go on forever. Well, it's a day of remembrance, a day of reflecting, and also a site of just as well for reflecting and remembering. Well, we can always come here pay, pay to homage, reflect. Pay homage to the people that, that pass away. 
right. from their stories, learn what they did, right. learn learn from the responders' point of view what they did, mm -hmm. learn from the people that wore the paint what right. they did. Right. Just thousands of people from all over the place. A lot of people affected. Everybody that lived in this area was affected too. Even if they weren't even on working. You, you look around the site right now, how many people oh. visiting? I don't right. know the actual number. But when you look at the amount of people that perished on at this site and also at the trade, the, the, right. uh, the Pentagon, the Shanksville, mm -hmm. you look around, you put the put the picture to the face of how many people, it's a lot of people that perished. Their souls, it's, the souls. Souls are here walking around. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, sure. and, and it's, it, it's, a, it's a place to reflect it. Well, I hope they know that we're there, we're, we remember, and we're there for them. You know, we didn't forget about them, that they're in our hearts and our minds and our souls, too. Right? They, they absolutely are. The, the museum is a place to uh, understand um, what took place and how it unfolded from right. the moment's off to, to actually this whole site being built. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's, it's, it's actually a, uh, a whole, whole host of actual history as it was going backwards to go forwards to actually in the past to what you're seeing now, what it's been built. Right, right. So this place is huge all on its own. When you see the magnification from above to below, mm -hmm. and then just look, you look at the waterfalls. Right. Watch the, watch the water go down. the water. You know what the subways were going on was just unbelievable now. Right. What I remember, I remember from underneath going with different people, subways, you know, filling up with water people that I was responding with. Out of 14th and 6th, transit was all over the site from above right. and below. There was many, many other people, not just uh, top firemen, police firemen. All the, all, the, all the agencies responded. There was correction, EMS, people that I, that sanitation, I was uh, that I was MTA. With. Just all the, all right. the agencies that responded. Boy, yeah. You know, and the people that I was with, the meaning of ground zero right. was when you got to the level of, of the third rail from above and below, right. you got everybody out. That's, That's just the like meaning. the people who were in the buildings, you know what I mean? They had to go through it too. They did, whether they survived or they perished that day, they all went through some traumatic uh, experience. So it is. Thank well, Thank you very much, and we're going to go into the museum right now, but we're going to pan over, we're going to check out the fountains, and then we're going to go in there, um, actually doing something for the first responders today, correct? So we're going to go check that out. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. We're here. We made it. <laughs> this program that brings attention, much needed attention, to such an important issue facing so many of the heroic men and women who participated in the 9-11 recovery and rebuilding operation, their families and fellow New Yorkers. While the recovery effort at the World Trade Center did end 13 years ago, thousands of rescue and recovery workers and other people who lived and worked at, near the Trade Center continue to suffer from a range of physical and mental health effects. Tonight at the museum, we are holding a very special evening to pay tribute to all those involved in the unprecedented <coughs> rescue and recovery efforts, which began immediately, of course, after 9-11, uh, the attacks in New York City at the Pentagon and at the Flight 93 crash site in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. <laughs>
with a beautiful memorial above us and the surrounding buildings continually coming up. He ended at a place of inspiration. But if you think about it, it was those early days, those early hours, when people rushed to the site under conditions which are really indescribable and showed the world what coming together means. We often talk here at the museum about our mission of education. Of course, we need to and will always remember the 2,983 victims whose names are on the memorial. But there is no more important thing to pass on to future generations than the story of the rescue and recovery of them. What a lesson for a child, my children, 12, 10, and 7. What a lesson to pass on that shows them in this museum, at this sacred ground, that when our country, our city, and the world is faced with something none of us could imagine beforehand, what happened? Well, what happened was your story. The story of thousands of people from all across, volunteers as well as our construction unions, our first responders, people who are the heart and soul of who we are, who we are as a country, came here in something that was completely surreal, something that was completely awful, and step by step brought healing to this place, which is now and has always been a very special place. There is no more lesson that is more important than that. We acknowledge with our scroll of honor in the museum the nearly the thousands and thousands of folks who inspired so many acts of compassion in the aftermath, who answered the call to serve our country in a way that really none of us could imagine would be needed. After this ceremony, I'm going to invite all of you to tie blue ribbons to the railing around the last column, which will be distributed. And I just, just want to mention that the story of the rescue and recovery effort, the story of this historic moment in American history, needs to include another element, which is the thousands of people that rushed down to the site, that stayed for days, weeks, and months. Many of them have gotten sick and have died because of their sacrifices, their selfless sacrifices, working all through the night, working for months on end in, in an environment that no one should have had to work in. One of the jobs at this museum is to remember those individuals too. Just like the victims of 9-11 themselves, they were mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, and sons and daughters. And as long as this museum is open, which it will forever be, we will tell the story of that historic rescue and recovery efforts, and we will make sure all of our visitors know that some of those responders died in that service and continue to suffer from that service. And in that spirit, I'd like to call in that spirit, I'd like to call for a moment of silence to remember all those we lost.
Through the night with the light up above From the mountains to the prairies To the oceans wide with foam